Christian, we're here today to talk about how we are working together to design our vessels with inclusivity in mind, uh, making it more welcoming to a broader uh, group of, uh, of people at sea. Why haven't we focused on this before? Well, that's a good question, but the answer is pretty simple. Because we're engineers, we like our job at building big ships. We focus on engines and technical stuff. And this about other needs, we haven't focused so much on that, at least, in the past. But now with the increased diversity, we see that there's a need for that. So, Christian, when we did these focus group interviews and heard from the women, what surprised you the most? They came with this long list, and, and what surprised me the most was actually it was obvious things which, at home, it would have been in place. Yeah. On board a ship, it should be in place, because it's where they live when they are on, on job. So we took a lot of learnings from this, and even though you asked the female seafarers, turned out that most items were for everyone, not considering gender. There were a few for the female, but the vast majority were for all crew. And yeah, the mirrors being a good example. You know, the fact that we're not all the same height, and some of us have a hard time looking in the mirror in the private bathrooms. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have examples where the mirror starts here, right? And yeah. going up. Uh, yeah. We have introduced larger mirrors, and we're trying to introduce both in the bathroom and in the day room. And we're also trying to introduce even larger mirrors where we have the space for it. Because mm. it takes space, and the cabins are not that large. So uh, mirrors, yes, that's a good point. We have separate changing rooms. Mm -hmm. In traditional ships, you have one changing room where you change from your accommodation, clothes, daily clothes, to the working clothes. On shore, we have gender-specific changing rooms. Yeah. We have that on board now as well. There's a lot of examples. Also, you mentioned about the height of people. Yeah. The step height of the stairs, it's pretty high. It's build a standard, but that's pretty high. Yeah, up to not necessarily comfortable. To no, up to 25 centimeters in height, and we have reduced that, and we are planning to reduce it even further on the next new buildings. As I said uh, earlier, the specification for these vessels were already made at that time when we got the list, so we couldn't change it before, and now we'll try to do it better going forward. But you told me about the shipyard and how they reacted when you came to them uh, with this list. Yeah, we, we would have expected that they would just say, ah, build a standard. Yeah. Specification, it's done, yeah. cannot do it. But actually they showed some interest in it and they say, wow, that's interesting. Also because specifically for this project, we have rather small cabins and we said to them, can we try to make the best out of it? And they were actually quite positive. And we had a very, very good dialogue and we spent hours discussing what is possible and what can we do. Mm -hmm. Also within a reasonable amount of cost, yeah. I would say. Christian, we've gotten some really good feedback from uh the crew uh, about how you designed the mess room. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh yeah, sure, I would like to. Uh, we got some good feedback, you said, from, from Anna Mask actually, the, the, the crew on the first of these large vessels. They're very happy because we changed from having a traditional setup with an officer's dining saloon and a separate crew mess. Now we've turned it into one dining saloon, seating all crew, all 28 potentially, could be seated in there. And they really like that because that's very inclusive. But also we did more. Uh, also uh, for the traditional setup, we sort of changed that from a recreation rooms, which typically officers recreation room, crew recreation room. We changed that to make one mask. We are one team. So we made this recreation room for all crew. And then the other recreation room, we changed into an action room where we do all the more noisy stuff like table tennis, uh, darts, karaoke, whatever they do on board. Yeah. And the, also the feedback from, from the Anna crew, Anna Mass crew, very, very positive. They use that room a lot. And I think this uh, collaboration has really showed me that uh, inviting seafarers into the conversation uh, makes a big difference. And I think it also shows our crews that they can bring their whole selves to work, that their opinion matters and that we want them to feel comfortable on board. So I've been very grateful for this collaboration. Uh, where do you see it going from here? I think we should continue the good start we made now. It's just a start, right? Yeah. So we should really develop on it and we should make some better ships in the future, implementing more of these uh, great ideas we received. So uh, I'm looking forward to that on the next new buildings.